I think you have already recognized it during my doing with Dropbox. So you're again on the Dropbox folder and the Dropbox client has downloaded two very interesting files for us. This is Office Professional Plus and World of Warcraft point exe. So um, this here is definitively because of exe a Windows file, a Windows executable, and this here well is also a Windows um, image. And within this image, there is the actual uh, Microsoft Office 2013. So, what do I do with Windows programs on a Linux system? In common, it is not possible to start Windows programs on a Linux system. But there is one exception for this. Um, it is called Wine and Wine give us the opportunity to try, beware, only to try to execute Windows programs, Windows, yes, Windows programs on our Linux system. This is a little tricky thing, so um, it's the last chance you have if you really, really need a Windows program on Linux system and you cannot substitute this with a program within the software center. This is mostly a very rare case because you have more than 60,000 free programs here around. So it is in your interest to give some of these open programs, uh, some of these open alternatives a first chance. If it is really not working for you, then try to search for wine. And we see here some programs. We have a meter package. This will install the most components we need for wine, but we switch some other stuff here. Q for wine is a very nice GUI, but the developer is a moment in Ukraine. And, you, uh, well, on his website there is a message that there is the war and he meant that uh, Russia has, well, some not, some not so official troops on in this country and, uh, well, he is not able to progress with the development of Q for one. So uh, I prefer this, but development is not uh, secured in the moment and we do not use uh, not develop software here so we try it with this very much more simpler program wine windows program loader in fact q for one is also loading this but this here is more elemental not so nice for the eyes you can also try to play on linux but i prefer this very simple program here so please install this and we see us when the installation has finished. You see the Wine Windows program loader is installed and during the installation there is one pop-up that wants you to agree to your oiler for a Microsoft phone. Well, if you want that Wine is installed with success you still have to agree. So I've done this here and I switch back to my both Windows files that offers Professional Plus 2030 and Win World of Warcraft setup ENGB. There will be in some minutes an additional office here around. Uh, we talk about for what this a little bit later on. So for now, uh, well, we start with World of Warcraft. I think this is a game, an online game, very very famous one. So uh, I press the right mouse button and open with Wine Windows Program Loader. I do this here and you will see that we get a little information window here around. When it comes to us, here it is. Wine configuration. And Wine is not very fast. So uh, if I remember correct, it's working only with one CPU 
we could check this here on system monitor and we see with a little search wine boot XE so with wine server there it is and the resources indicate that not all CPUs are um, working as fast as they could so um, this all is very slow and we will see here us in some video sequences during the installation process of World of Warcraft. You see the first pop-up from World of Warcraft installer itself is coming up to us. It's starting Battle.net and is getting some network information and we see what comes next. Here are some basic information about the needs of the requirements of the uh, World of Warcraft installer. So 200 MB are required, 996 MBs are available at a desktop shortcut and yet we are all fine with this. We continue. Battle.net installing is running. And well just again waiting. So you see here uh, you need to log in for the online game itself and well I have a count for this but I think we skipped this. The installation program is now able to start within Linux and that is what is all the here about and we do not need to get installed the full game. If you really want to have it, you can go in this direction and um, create account, create a free account here and give your credentials in and then proceed with the installation. So for now we pause this and have a look at the other stuff. So we do this with Wine also for Office Professional 2013 open this with first with disk, disk image mounter. So for what is this? You have here a point .emg file and the emg file is a raw data image. So to use it you must first mount it like a hard drive to or USB stick to your computer. We do this and open this with disk image mounter. And when this is done, we see here a little hard drive icon UDF volume. We click on this in the side panel. And here are some folders and some files. We need from this the setup exa. Please make a right click and open with Wine Windows Program Loader. Don't be surprised, this will not work but I will show you why and how you can work around this. So we will get a pop up, pop up and exactly this is it here with an error message. New Windows version needed. So, <laughs> well, we don't have a Windows in fact. Uh, what is the problem here? First we click on OK and call again the Ubuntu Software Center. And here we have the wine program. We click on more information. And we will see and keep in mind that we have the version 1.6. Please keep this for now in mind. Uh, well, you can close the software center and please switch to the Firefox browser. I've already opened the home page of the wine project. You can f simply find this with uh, make a common internet search for wine and then switch to the website winehq.org. And what do we see here? We see latest releases stable, wine 1.6.2. This is more or less the version we have on our system. And you see here a development version, 1.7.19. The time delay between development and stable is always relatively high in the Vine project. 
Um, this is important for us to uh, distinguish what we have in moment and what is possible because there is an app database where we can search for programs that are runnable with wine and that and uh, for those which are not runnable at time and dependent of the version we have for wine so here first we have a platinum list one of the platinum programs is world of warcraft so no problem on this we can play world of warcraft um, there are many many other programs um, platinum is the best category so this will run regular stable and smooth there is a gold list uh, you have here a short description you see almost games here around and you have a silver list um, minor issue issues uh, do not affect typical usage and there's also a office program for Microsoft Outlook 2010 so in my mind this is more to office it might be Microsoft has a different nomenclature for this you see also office programs are runnable with wine but why not 2013 so the message that we have not the appropriated wins version is a hint for us uh, well maybe wine is not actual enough with version 1.6 so it may be necessary to switch to 1.7 development version we must check this so we make here a little search for and type just in office and give the database some moments to do the search we see uh, well <laughs> some advertisements but that's not so important for us we see here uh, overview page that we could access we see here Microsoft Office 2030 that is our program with the problem affected so first this is for a 32-bit version but we have here uh, home Dropbox a uh, 46-bit version this may be the cause for the problem we investigate a little bit further and open this page in new tab what we see on the page for Office 2030 32-bit is that well here is a rating garbage this is not platinum this is not gold this is not silver it is still not running also with wine 1.7.80 the latest development version so no luck for us we scroll a little bit down you have here a list of different versions and the rating for it and you see it's garbage 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 different platforms different versions and no chance to get this on we switch back to the tab in the with the uh, search for office in the wine hq database um, well there are different versions around here um, 2010 well you may have a look in this the 46 64 bit version but well uh, i can tell you the microsoft office 2007 version is able to run and we open also this so first we look for the 2010 it's also with the rating garbage in the 1.7 development tree and so here it is not installable on different also on different versions and no it's not possible to get on microsoft office 2010 what about 2007 oh yes this looks different so we have a rating of gold this is very good and the little bit older microsoft office has got some ratings here this is interesting for us because you see in the 1.5 version there's a platinum level rating in the 1.6 it is only a silver one and in the 1.7 it is 
again a little bit increased to a gold one. So what has happened? This is called a regression. Uh, so with uh, progress and development, sometimes the things not really go better or become better. So uh, there may be a programming box during uh, further programming activities and this has caused here the silver level for the increased version and here are some fixes in the development version until now so we can work with the 1.6 version of wine to try to get microsoft office 2007 running if we have it I switch back in my Dropbox folder and you see I've substituted the 2013 Office version with the Office 2007 exit. And well, we will test this at a basic level. So we load it with a Wine Windows program loader. And we'll see that we got a pop up here that uh, asks us to give in a registration key. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any registration key for Office 2007, so, well, this is only a proof of concept, so Microsoft Office Professional plus 2007 could be started. It will take a while with the extrahation process, but it's runnable. And you see this pop up here, and the question for the product key, and with this, it should be enough to wine and office and so you can reach some goals but not all and if you want to have more there's just one hint i can give you so uh you can further try it with wine and a commercial version of wine does not so wine is the basis for crossover and crossover is a program with some more refinements on that you can do some more things with than wine it's more stable more programs so on so on so on but you have to pay for and uh, other kind of working around is you use virtualization technique like virtualbox and with virtualbox you can you can install a Windows within your Linux system and on this virtualized Windows you can run programs and this in much more stable style and much more programs than with Wine or Crossover.